She works. Okay, yeah, I, I'll accept that now. Perfect. So now you are camera is to Niharika. Niharika is seemingly the youngest one, very powerful. And she has walked into the space beautifully. We have a very precious gift, uh, Kamakshi Ma. She was in Upasana when I walked in. And it was a clear sign of presence of Shakti given by the mother. So I accept her as a precious gift. And she has a tradition to follow Shakti Ma, which her sister from, uh, they are from Bangalore and following Babaji's tradition. Then now we have Paula. Paula is from Colombia. And we are sister, sister who have just recently met, <laughs> and myself. So, Unamdi, uh, why don't you say something about you and then Nilima and Nusha? Unima. Um, yeah, so I am um, Nilima's sister. And I've been a, well, uh, a corporate woman all my life. And I'm really very um, happy uh, and proud of Nilima and the work that she has been doing over the past couple of years. And I've seen her now firsthand um, because she spent some time with us here in uh, Delhi, do the work that she's been doing and happy to kind of uh, support in whichever way I can. Um, yeah, so I'm just, I think starting with just learning a little bit about what all you do and we'll take it from there. Beautiful. Thank you, Purnima. Usha, would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, uh, I'm Usha Radhakrishnan and uh, no, I've been friendly with uh, friends with Nidima for a really, really long time. And uh, we've seen um, our journeys almost parallelly together, separately together, I should say. She was on her journey and I was on mine, but then almost a lot of things coincided with our thinking and the way we worked, and especially in the space of spirituality and the way we think. So I'm very happy to always collaborate with her and stand by her for whatever she does. Thank you. Thank you, Shema. Uma, would you like to say a little bit about yourself in this context? So, yes, I Nilima just held my hand and made me realize my work and context of work. And I feel like Nilima's uh, younger sister and also we have been a catalyst to each other in, in a conscious and unconscious way. When Reiki of Shakti Kumbh uh, began, I, was, I jumped into bandwagon saying, I'm coming, I'm coming. And then uh, when uh, Kashi, Kanyakumari, Kashi and Kashmir Yatra was going on, I ended up finishing that with Nilima. And right now being instrument in courageously saying, yes, if it is has to happen in Auroville in Pondicherry, part of Shakti Shanta, then here I am. Tell me what to do. And it has happened just 10 days back. So I see myself a courageous sister of Nilima, and we are quite a gang together. And uh, I'm very, very grateful for this unfolding. I've been meditating for last two days to, to just get the fragrance of what, what it is to want to manifest and who will manifest that. And... Uh, the moment acknowledgement of Shakti has happened in the campus of Upasana, I have been meeting powerful women every day. But what has been become different is that this time I'm consciously able to welcome them, honor them, and not being part of the picture, honoring the presence who walks into. Like today morning when Kamakshi Mahabha walked in, it was that to me. And then I met Niharika in her light. And I always have known in Niharika as Niharika, but this Uttama, uh, sorry, Nilima, you have opened something for me very precious. So very happy to be part of this journey, Nilima, and offering my being, my capacity, my presence to the world for the moment. Thank you, Uma. 
Thank you. My whole being is already filled with so much sweet energy, so much grace. It just goes to show that uh, time and space is nothing. You know, we can just collapse it. And in another dimension, we are all here right now together. And uh, in the mother's field, that is always the case. So uh, I'm the founder of Shakti Leadership, uh, which is a book I wrote seven years ago. But more than that, it's a mission. It's a mission to create 100,000 Shakti leaders globally by 2030, because I believe change is created by change makers. And women need to rise in all domains to, we can, so that we can have a integrated development across the world. I'm going to do a quick screen share so that you can see this visual that came to me. Can you see my screen now? Yeah. Yes. So how do we create a change? Mother had said in the agenda one line, and I've never been able to find it again, but I read many years ago one line from the mother in her 13-volume agenda where she says, we need a Shakti center where women can come and get empowered. So that has stayed with me for the longest time. And it has evolved through just inspiration. What if we could have Shakti centers across India, creating women change makers across key sectors for integrated national development? So what if in the North, in alignment with the Maheshwari energy, we could have a Shakti center to build women change makers in sciences, education, health, and spirituality. What if in the East, aligned with the Mahakali energy, we created women change makers in the NGO sector, especially for climate change and uh, environmental sustainability and regeneration? What if in the West, we had a Shakti center fueled by the Mahalakshmi energy to create women change makers in business and economics? And what if in the South, we had a Shakti center dedicated to receiving and manifesting the Maha Saraswati energy for creating women change makers in arts, culture, and even technology because Goddess Saraswati is Vidya in, in all ways. And eventually in the center as well to have a Shakti center to create women change makers in politics and governance, channeling the Aditi Shakti. So, all these, if we can develop over time and connect these women to each other, then they will collaborate to create peace, prosperity, and beauty through the exchange of multiple forms of capital. So, in a way, what we need are little incubators, right? Which can then become accelerators of women innovators, cultural change makers, social impact uh, change makers. And Today, it's so beautiful that I've been holding this for the longest time, saying, where will our first Shakti Center be? Where will we get started? So we started with these pop-up ashrams, which is the idea of a Kumbha Mela. We had our first Shakti Kumbh for 21 days in Rishikesh. And in a way, the there are already centers in Rishikesh that are potentially Shakti Centers. Swami Brahmdev of Oro Valley Ashram, he's built a circular building called the World Unity Center. And he's been telling us forever, Aap aake chalaiye, ye to aap ke liye banaya hai, right? And then for the graduation ceremony of the uh, Integral Yogini teacher training course at the Shakti Kumbh on the 5th of March, we went in a Yogini Yatra to the Chaurasi Kutia Maharshi Mahesh Yogi's ashram, popularly called the Beatles ashram. And there also we seeded and prayed for the idea that that place becomes a yogini ashram. While all that is still happening, we came to Oroville in uh, the first week of August to say, okay, how do we have our next Shakti Kumbh in Oroville, which will be from Mother's birthday to the golden day, 21st to 29th Feb. And as Uma and I have been talking about this for the longest time, we suddenly had this deep energy that just rose saying, perhaps it's time. We just need to get started. We need to anchor this energy and just get started. So what if there is just one room? And she says, I have a room. <laughs> I think that's the room you're all sitting in. And so perfectly as we walked up to see the room, we saw the Saraswati statue. 
And it was just uh, hair raising, you know, that here she was, she's been sitting there waiting to be anchored and to flow into her Shakti women who are going to come. So there she is, Jai Ma. And uh, maybe I'll very briefly describe what is the more practical uh, outcome we are looking for from what we launch and inaugurate here today where all of you are sitting. So these are the intuitions that have come. Anchored in the first Shakti Center, where you all are, we are incubating a space offered by Uma Upasana. This is the Shakti Center dedicated to Maha Saraswati in South India. It, its aim is to develop women change makers in the CCI. That means the creative and cultural industries, fine arts, performing arts, design, media, digital arts, etc. CCI are part of the tangible and intangible heritage of our Indic civilization and need to be fully supported, preserved, evolved, and financially sustained, which is not the case currently. So what better day than 15th August, our Independence Day, to start this? Our mission is to help our CCI women change makers innovate new revenue and conscious business models that will be evaluated on their capacity to create and grow peace, prosperity, beauty, and regeneration within their spheres of influence and impact. So women working in the CCI should feel economically secure and valued and rewarded, commensurate with the value they bring to our national and civilizational development. Mahasaraswati is calling us to bring her daughters to Mahalakshmi. Right? Mahakali will support with her transformative strength and Maheshwari will guide her with her wisdom. No more poor artists. No more poverty in the arts. May every woman working in the CCI be abundant. So I'll pause there and I will invite each one of you to just make a prayer of your own to your circle and bless this vision that you just heard. We invoke Ganapati, Maha Ganapati, for all auspicious and new beginnings to come and open the space and hold it in our Muladhar Chakra in this physical center for auspicious new beginnings, we invoke his presence. Om Shri Maha Ganapataye Namaha. 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 Gajanana Padmarkam, Gajananam Maharnisham, Anekadantam Bhaktana, Mekadantam Upasmahe. Om Namo Bhagavate Shri Aravinda Om Namo Bhagavate Shri Aravinda Om Namo Bhagavate on the birthday of Sri Aurobindo, middle of the noon time, 
let the new transition of Bharata Shakti begins and we as a Shakti plays our role into it. For the fourth dream of Sri Aurobindo, of being the spiritual gift of India to the world, what can be better than empowered, enlightened goddesses? Invoking their presence, their blessing in this place, in Oroville, in South India, in India, in Asia, in the world for all. We invoke Maha Saraswati, the patron goddess of the Shakti Center, to come and take over her space here. For Oroville, for South India, for India, for Asia, and for the world. We will chant Om Aim Maha Saraswati Namaha five times to invoke her in all the five elements for manifestation. And after that, if anyone has other Saraswati invocations, they are welcome. Let's begin. Just do it silently. I will do it loudly because otherwise there will be interference in the sound. Oh, I Maha Saraswati Namaha 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 Nilima? Yes. While we were in our process, we have two younger Shakti have joined. Tara well, from Brazil. And she just walked into, again, Shakti space yesterday. Then we have Shalini. Yeah. Shal Shalija. You see what she does. She is incredible Shakti. She is a filmmaker. She has walked into our life very recently after Shakti conversation. Welcome, welcome. So we are again became seven here while we begin with five. Beautiful. And we are three here, so that makes it ten, the Dasha Mahavidya. Dasha Mahavidya, cute. <laughs> so Goddess Saraswati is Vidya, but in her higher form, she's Mahavidya. As Neela Saraswati, Tara, also as Matangi. So it's almost as if she is saying, if I truly need to manifest in my fullness... I will be the Mahavidya now because I need to bring all those cosmic powers to get activated and manifested here. Usha, do you have something to add? Saraswati Namastubhyam Varade Kamarupini Vidya Rambham Karishyami Siddhi Bhavatu Mesadha. You no, know, while the um, goddess of wisdom, as we call her, 
is the, the one who writes the beautiful Hamsa, which has this most graceful neck and the whole body is very, in a very eight, eight is the number that comes from the formation of Saraswati, the way she stands and the way she sits on the Hamsa, etc. And uh, so it's important that uh, not only do we seek her blessings before, like we seek the blessings of Ganesha always, we have placed these three and as my father told me, they are the Trimurtis. So there's Ganesha, Lakshmi and Saraswati together. So these three are your Trimurtis. He said to me when I got the Saraswati Mantra, he said, this is what you should do. So you have to pray to all three of them. Because Saraswati uh, will, you know, get you Lakshmi. And without uh, Ganesha, there will be a lot of hurdles. So between the three of them, they have to envelop you. And how you will be able to do any, any new endeavor in your life. So today is a very important day for us. Saraswati uh, will never let us down. This my dance teacher said to me when I started learning dance very young age, maybe three, four years old, he said, Saraswati will never let you down. She will never let your hand away. She will not, you know, discard you. However much old you may become, you can still teach and earn money if you don't have a job. So Saraswati is something you can rely on completely. And uh, that is the philosophy that we tell our children and, you know, everybody about how Saraswati is somebody you can completely... Lakshmi is very chanchal, can come and can go. Uh, but Saraswati is somebody who will remain with you always. Even if you don't have a job, she will still hold your hand because she will never leave you. So what you study or what you read or what you learn in terms of knowledge, technique, writing, literature, dance, music, uh, stitching, cooking, any art that you uh, may learn that remains with you all your life so however old you become and however maybe you might be in the worst of situations uh, even to make flower and polish if you know how to do that even that can help you if you know, know how to knit it can help you if you know how to cook it can help you so that knowledge that vidya will never let us down and i think we have to um, keep her with us in such a manner that then lakshmi feels um, has no other option but to come to us. So she, because she follows Vidya wherever she goes and she sees to it that if she's there, then she's meant to be present. So uh, today's auspicious day, uh, Sri Aurobindo's um, birth anniversary and also uh, it completes number of years, 150 years and there is, you know, a lot of... Uh, what we call ambience related spirituality that is there on to this day and uh, since also it is a day that we have found independence our independence day of this country and where we are trying to revitalize bharat shakti i think this is an apt day for the women of our country to you know revitalize themselves and i'm using the word revitalize because we've used it in the past and also because I feel that um, our ancestral knowledge and our ancestral, uh, um, you know, legacy that we have, um, we only have to revisit it uh, to get it back. So we are in that process. And uh, I think uh, with all these wonderful ladies I'm seeing, I can see a lot of interesting things going to come up. Um, forms will come and business will come and marketing will happen and everything will happen if we really work on this concept well uh, thank you nidima for mm, this whole thought and the way you've you know you're so crystal clear in your um, uh, thought process that uh, it's all like stacked you know uh, thoughts are stacked up in the right way so uh, like uh, like those wonderful uh, post speakers that you get they're all neatly stacked. And so you just move, you know, from there to there. And uh, I think finally we'll make a lot of sound. Yeah. Wonderful sound. Thank, Thank you. you so much. I'm so, going to now, we will have a little, little ritual of honoring the goddesses. We are seven of us in this room. So uh, one of you, if you can just take the video. So, uh,
uh, Shara, can you hold it? And uh, I'm going to, uh, so there's a little offering of uh, Jasmine from South India. Paula from Colombia, this is for you here. Please, it is a uh, horrible uh, symbol on the Sherbindo's birthday, and it is a brooch, it's a clip. You put it anywhere as accessories. So, please, thank you so much for being part of it. Now you see Kamakshi Ma, Kamakshi Ma coming from Bangalore. Jasmine for your hair, Ma, and a red flower, and all of your symbols. So you wear them, wear your love for all of it. Here is youngest Ma, Niharika, a jasmine flower to her, and a rose, and a little accessories. Of all of this symbol. Then we are going to Charlotte, Charlotte Ma from Bihar. Right now, but Holland and UK as a background. She loves all of this. I know she's going to wear it. Thank you. Thank you. So now it is going to Sarah. Somebody, yes, you can <laughs> do that. So flower for your hair. Goddesses, love yourself, be beautiful, Thank you. and give from all of them. Thank you. So this is now going to go to our little one, the filmmaker one, dynamic goddess. Here she is. She loves all of it. She has chosen to be here. So that's for her. That's for here. And the little rest flag. Thank you, darling. And uh, three batches remains with the flower, and it is Pousha Ma, Nilima Ma, <laughs> and Purnima Ma. So it is when you come, you will get it. And flower of your, and will be offered to goddess here, Saraswati yeah. Ma is present in the room. And here you see the room looks like. And all, all the goddess are adorning themselves, being beautiful. Numa, this, this is, is you, for all of us. <laughs> you, for your beauty, for all of us. Thank you. Like so that's you. my share. <laughs> I did my class. And thank you. <laughs> thank you for your incredible presence at this moment, being in India, from Colombia, Brazil, Holland, India, South India, Central India, North India. It's incredible what is the combination of energy is gathered in this room. And uh, Nilima, it's going to rain. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We shall invoke Mahalakshmi's Varsha, showers of grace and ah. abundance and harmony. So let me just chant, we invoked for the other two, for Ganesha and Saraswati. Let's also invoke for Mahalakshmi. So this yeah. is a, a mantra given to my mother from Jagannath Puri, interestingly. So, <clears throat> Om Shri, Reem Shreem, Kamale Kamalalaye, Prasiddha Prasiddha Shri, Mahalakshmi Namaha. Om Shri, Reem Shreem, Kamale Kamalalaye, Prasiddha Prasiddha Shri, Mahalakshmi Namaha. Om Shri Reem Shreem Kamale Kamalalaye Prasiddha Prasiddha Shri Mahalakshmi Namaha Om Shri Reem Shreem Kamale Kamalalaye Prasiddha Prasiddha Shri Mahalakshmi Namaha Om Shri Reem Shreem Kamale Kamalalaye Prasiddha Prasiddha Shri Mahalakshmi Namaha Come on. Complete the Trinity. Nilima, we will be leaving the room and taking you be online. I'll just take you down where we are going to sit around. And uh, all of us, seven goddesses, are going to sit and drink something or eat something. Apparently, when I was meditating, that which is a physical location 
the Shakti is residing, it was in the garden. Mm. So we are going to that spot where it felt very, very right. Just walk with us and then we'll close the camera. Oh, so yes. just be with us. Here you see everybody has gone to ready. Look at her, Kamakshima's batch of Auroville. So beautiful. So beautiful. And Nasamita and Auroville symbol together. Flower we can't see. So come, let's walk to the uh, garden. Uma, a second. Uma? Yes. Just uh, stay near uh, the ID for one minute. We will complete the prayer here. Then you will be in the room. Om Sahana Bhavatu, Sahana Bunatu, Sahaviriam Karava, Sahaviriam Karava, Sahaviriam Karava, Sahaviriam Karava, Nilima, I, I need to add this right now while we are doing this ritual. Sudha and Jaya is in Shurbindo Ashram, most probably in the ashram somewhere holding us. Wow. So that was the deal that they would be there and we'll do that and we will be here in the room. Perfect. So from 10 to 12, the qualities of the mother. <laughs> hmm? We are 10. Sudha and Jaya become 12 with us. Yeah. So that is the 12 qualities of the mother. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. Five, seven, and 10, and 12. Beautiful. <laughs> so I'm taking you out, we are going to the garden. So here you are in the nature. I'll show you a garden from the top. It's very beautiful. And under the tree, Mahalakshmi sits. Mm. And the Ren garden. And near that table, that area came very powerful as a Shakti. So now we are going down. We have a pond in the center and Shiva sits behind that in the green. He, he hides. Krishna Moore is in front. Shiva is quiet. <laughs> we are in the front now. We have Tara Ma sits here mm -hmm. and our little goddess. He sits here. And this is the place it came. The Shakti energy. We are in the garden now. And Mahalakshmi, she sits into very, very center. Perfect. Ah. We have one goddess, Amuda. She has done all the preparation. Mm. And all the Shaktis are here. <laughs> wow. So beautiful. So beautiful. It's so nice that you're sitting under the tree and you're going to refresh yourselves with beautiful, healthy food from the Upasana Cafe. This is the abundance in simplicity and beauty from Maha Saraswati and Maha Lakshmi. Perfect. Oh my God. <laughs> Thank you so, so much, Nitima, for this incredible vision and gift. And we are all here. I can't believe it. I thank each one of you for showing up, for saying yes to the call of the mother. And above all, let's thank Mother and Sri Aurobindo today and Mother India today. 
for enabling us. May we be worthy instruments and may we flow with harmony and perfection and strength and wisdom. Thank you. Jai Ma. Jai Hind. Jai Ma. Jai Hind. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Enjoy. Bye. Enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. Gather. <laughs> <laughs>